Okay, everybody, I got a guitar in today. It needs restrung. It looks like a Gibson Les Paul. Wait, what's this? Bernie? Yeah, so we're looking at a Bernie Les Paul, the Super Grande model. I love the font that looks like a Les Paul, but that actually says Super Grande. And Bernie is a great made in Japan Les Paul copy. But this one, unfortunately, is the made in China version. Let me show you why I'm saying that. Okay, so I'm looking at the back of the headstock and right here at the serial number. It says FG1104, so I'm thinking, okay, this is from the Fujichen factory, that great factory in Japan that makes beautiful guitars, but it's not. China put this on there, and here's how I know that. Okay, so looking at, we were looking at an old Fernandez catalog, and they were showing Bernie's in there, and the made in Japan ones do not say super grade right here. It's just blank. It says Bernie across here and there's nothing right in here. So our guess is this is definitely a made in China version of the guitar. I think the model of this is an RLG 55. And most of the made in Japan Bernie's did not have any serial numbers. So I'm looking at mylespaul.com and the FG is a prefix for all the Made in China Bernie's and Fernandez guitars. So uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Chinese guitar, still super high quality. So yeah, it's, it's a really cool looking, really fun guitar. It looks like a Gibson Les Paul standard clown burst or a cherry burst. You wouldn't know by looking at the bridge where it just has the adjustable thumb wheels. And this guitar is available at my store. Zim's Guitars right here in Mesa, Arizona. I don't usually get uh, too much of this kind of stuff, but this piece is on consignment. Now, um, this thing, uh, if it was a made in Japan, Bernie, you know, a lot of times those are... Um, $1,200 guitars, maybe a $1,500 guitar. But seeing how this is the made in China version, I'm going to, just off the top of my head, I'm going to value this thing at maybe $600. You know, leave it in the comments what you guys think. But I've looked a little bit up and, and we've done a little bit of research to try to figure out you know the value of some items and you don't see too many of these so that's why uh, that's why it's kind of difficult to uh, price some things because you don't see that many of them get these old strings off of here yeah you don't see too many of them but they got a great reputation um, one of the knobs right here is broken where it's missing the, the top piece I might be able to get that off of there and fix that but uh, the fret ends already feel good on this oh you know what here's what I want to do this should be fun all right guys so I'm taking a page I went and bought new shoes the other day yeah, I bought a pair of Vans, but I'm going to take a page out of the Philip McKnight YouTube channel. <clears throat> know your gear. Here we go. This should be fun. Okay, here we go. Ready? The booty test. Oh. Yeah, I'm 
feeling a little bit right there. Maybe I got the wrong kind of footsie. Maybe his are different, but not too bad. It passed the booty test. So, anyhow, that was kind of fun. But the fret ends look good here. I'm just going to take a little bit of some furniture polish and spray it on my rag. And I'm just going to kind of hit the top here a little bit. But yeah, the average guy, if this said Gibson on it, it, it would take you a little while to, to look it over to figure out that it's not a Made in America Gibson. It would take you a, a few minutes. And this uh, three-way switch is the giveaway because it's not recessed down into the body. It's sitting right there on the top. But again, this is, a, this is a really cool guitar. And I've had one before. I did a YouTube video. If you look back in the channel from about two years ago, I put new strings on a Bernie. And the thumbnail shows actually shows Bernie, uh, the politician, right? The guy that ran for president a few years ago, holding it. In the thumbnail, it was a great thumbnail. My son made my does my video editing. Made a great thumbnail of a Bern, of Bernie Bernie Sanders holding the the Bernie guitar. I suppose I could do a weekend at Bernie's kind of thumbnail for this one or something. You know what? Let me put a little bit of uh, what I've got right here. Where's it at? Got a little bit of Music Nomad F1 oil. This stuff is thick. Okay, going through my bo box of uh, random knobs, I found one that looks like a close fit. So I'm going to try to see if I can install this one right here. Oh, it's kind of loose. But I will install that one right there. I think what I'm going to try to do, because if you go and you try to separate these, you know, there's, it's, you're tempted to try to do one of these kind of things, but you can break them really easily. Separate those a little bit so that they go in there. That's pretty good. There we go. So today's string choice Super slinky regular 10 through 46. Okay, I'm back. I had a bunch of customers come in here. Got a little noisy for a while. But I've put my strings through here. And I'm just going to put this back into place. And I always start with my little E string. So I pull the string through, I give it about this much extra uh, uh, string, right? About that much. Because I only really want uh, two to three winds around the tuner here. So let's see what it gives me. There's one. There's two. Just over two. And then sometimes I wait and cut all these off at the same time. If you're setting up something with a Floyd Rose, I would say leave your strings long because sometimes things happen and you need to, uh, you know, 
use that extra amount of string. But I think it's safe to go ahead and cut the strings off after you get a couple of lines. There you go. But the Bernie Super Ground. That's what we're stringing up today. And um, it's on consignment. So if you guys are interested. Now, uh, always, you know, I get guys that call me. They've seen a YouTube video. They call me up. They say, Dane, uh, I'm interested in that guitar, the blah, blah, blah thing from your video. And uh, I say, bro, that video was like three years ago. So, yeah, check the date to see when I uploaded the video. And uh, before you give me a call, okay, guys? Because it's usually something that's been around for uh, a couple of years it's long gone so if you decide to call me on this make sure you check the, the date on when I uploaded this video And for some of you collectors out there that collect different Les Pauls, this is kind of a fun one. And because it's different. And they've got a good reputation. People like them. There's the Bernie, there's the uh, Orville, those are kind of cool, um, made in Japan, Les Paul knockoffs, the Orville, I have to never had one of those. I put nine gauge strings on uh, Gibson scale link guitars. And I put nines usually on anything that is uh, like a strat style or size guitar. So just to show you some scale length, got my tape measure here. And this is looking at like 24 and 3 quarter. Standard Gibson scaling. So I'm going to guess. Let's take a look at possibly a 12 inch radius. Yeah, I'm going to guess this is a 12 inch radius. Um, or is it a 10? <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's check and see what these pickups ohm out at. So turn everything up, put it down in the bridge position. This is showing that our bridge pickup ohms out at 12.17 and our neck pickup comes in at, it's the same, 12.18. So kind of PRS Silver Sky kind of style where they're exactly the same in the center position, then it's going to be about half of that, which comes in at 6.09. So they installed the same pickup. 
in the neck and the bridge. That's my just my best guess. All right, let's see what happens. I'm kind of interested to see what's going on underneath the truss rod cover here. And I think I could loosen that just to, to uh, straighten the neck just a tiny bit to prevent it from buzzing. And I'm tempted to, uh, I'm, I'm just wondering if it's got a nut under there or if it is a uh, Allen wrench. And yes, it's an Allen wrench that fits in there. So, expected. There you go. That'll straighten it nicely. But yeah, just a regular Allen wrench like an Epiphone would have. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Again, I think it's a uh, really nice $600 guitar. If I'm wrong, you guys let me know in the comments, okay? It is on consignment, so I don't own this one. So I have to kind of get going right. You guys let me know what you think about it. All right, guys, so I got it all strung up. I've tuned it. I've tried to stretch the strings out a little bit and then retuned it a couple of times. It's playing really good. <laughs> good a Bernie Les Paul they're out there guys keep your eyes out they're super cool everybody have a great day thank you guys so much for watching go buy a guitar mm -hmm.